Armstrong, King of Dirt. Dana and Eric have a tiny yard that's a giant mess. How do you not clean the yard? It's so small. I gotta make this go with this. With some amazing new tile, some sensational veneer, a new product, and some colorful plants, we're gonna give this small area an enormous face. And this really makes everything pop. If only the weather doesn't stop us. It is coming down right now. I don't believe this. And we figure a way out of this mess. I'm done with this waterfall thing. I had it. My name is Gino Panaro, and I've been making amazing landscapes for over 20 years. There's nothing I can't handle. Come on, let's go. Get the big one, put it right here in the corner. Except maybe my brother Ralph. Oh, Gino! He's my right-hand man and does everything, including driving me crazy. It's fine, it's all good. I'm gonna be fine if it leaks! And then there's my wife. What are you doing? Having lunch all day long? Gina, you yeah. making macaroni and meatballs for everybody I ain't tomorrow? making no macaroni and meatballs. I might be rough on the outside. What is wrong with you? But nothing makes me happier than making people's yards beautiful. As long as it's done the right way. My way. I've got a new project in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. The homeowners completely renovated the inside. From the floors, to the stairwells, to the kitchen. Everything is brand new. Except for the backyard. And that's where I come in. Oh, so here we are. Yep, this is it. I definitely see where you stopped. I mean, what do you guys do? Yeah, I mean... How do you not clean the yard? It's so small. <laughs> this I could see was the red-headed stepchild of the whole project. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Careful what you say about the red-headed stepchild. <laughs> Before I can start visualizing the project, I gotta get some info from my clients. But what are the goals? What are we looking to do out here? What I'm looking for is a place up here to entertain that the space feels open. I'd love to see the air conditioners masked in some way, shape, or form. Well, one of the things I'd love to see in the space here is the addition of a water feature. I don't know if we've got the space or the budget to do it. I gotta tell you, it's a real tight space, but I'll look into it for you. Sounds great. All right? I know that you've probably been living more so in the inside of the house than the outside. We're gonna take you out to the outside. You're gonna be able to sit back here and you're gonna swear that you're not in Brooklyn. Nice I'm to gonna get you. going and, uh, I can't wait to get started. Low patio and retaining walls are structurally sound. So I'm gonna build a patio right on top of it with a natural tile. On the upper level, I'm gonna build a short walkway to a freeform patio. Around the upper patio, I'm gonna mix a variety of shrubs these homeowners have never seen before. Look what I'm up against. I gotta make this go with this and find the spot for the water feature. This yard is a mess, so before we can start moving any materials in, we have to clear space for it. You never know what you're gonna find in the backyard in Brooklyn. Once we get the debris off to the side, we can clean and prep the upper area and start moving materials in. So, you know, this isn't the typical landscape project I'd be involved with. We're coming through the house. Fortunately enough for us, Dana has taken precautions. We're padding up her granite countertop as well as putting a paper down over the flooring. And since there's no clear pathway to the back, and because the wheelbarrow won't fit through the door, everything needs to be carried in. Nice. Great. That's a long walk from the street to the lady's backyard. So we're going to measure everything so we have the exact amount of slate that we need for the backyard. To see a list of all the material we're dragging through Dana and Eric's Brooklyn Townhouse, go to DIYNetwork.com. If this thing rips apart when I'm going into Dana's house, I'm in big trouble. <laughs> now that we've got the area basically all cleaned out, we're trying to get the outline of the sitting area up here. Next, we use the transit to set the grades and make sure the patio foundation will be level. Let's put some strings in. With the string lines and grades set and all materials in, our site is prepped and ready to go. 
I'm not feeling too well this morning. My throat's bothering me, losing my voice. I made you some tea. This is medicine for me. And I just want to let you know, I've been watching you the last couple days. If your voice is gone, I'm going to take over for you. I mean, you order the guys around, you yell at Ralph, how hard could it be, right? My brother will like it today. You won't hear me yelling too much. Luckily for me, I'm Italian, so, you know, we talk with our hands, so I'll get my point across. How are you? Good to see you, man. Which is going to help us with the tile work for the upper and lower patios, as well as the wall veneering. The patio we're laying down is a natural slate stone. The air tones found in the slate match the client's overall design scheme, and they can be easily laid over the existing concrete patio. But the existing patio is uneven and doesn't have any true right angles. So we set up a string line to keep our tiles in a straight line. Making a cake. We're mixing the flex bond right now. We want to have like a good uh, thick consistency, kind of like peanut butter. So when these guys spread it out, you know, they can work it real well. And this is the stuff that's going to adhere to the old patio. And then we're going to lay the new slates on top of this. Stuff works really well. When you go up and down with the notch trial, you're creating the thicker notch or a thinner notch. You need the notches with the spaces so the slate grabs onto it. After we spread our thin set and notch it with a trowel, we can lay our slates. Wow, don't you see the guys got the string here? What are you doing? He's putting the line in. Right, so work the back. The, the yelling meter, I give it a three today. Maybe a two and a half. You put the tile down with no mud on that side. Usually it's a ten plus. You don't have a clue. What are you doing, man? Once we get the majority of tiles down, we have to set up a plank so we don't walk on them. The tiles along the wall must be measured and cut to size with a wet saw. Give me the next three. Give me three and a half. While we're finishing up the tiles along the wall, I got some bad news. Is it raining? Is it gonna rain? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm afraid it's, it's gonna rain. Really? I gotta get all this material in the basement, otherwise I won't be able to glue it tomorrow. Coming up, the weather makes life complicated. It's coming down right now. I don't believe this. I don't believe I'm doing this. The rain's falling. It's supposed to fall intermittently tonight, and hopefully it's not going to be a big problem for us. Look what I'm up against. I got to make this go with this. We started clearing out the job site. You never know what you're going to find in the backyard in Brooklyn. I'm starting to lose my voice. I made you some tea. This is medicine for me. Which Ralph doesn't seem to be too upset about. The yelling meter, I give it a three today. Maybe a two and a half. But I just got some bad news about the weather. In landscaping, you never know when the weather's going to make your job twice as hard as you can see. It's coming down right now. I don't believe this. What we're doing is turning my basement into a drying area for all of these ledge wall pieces. I'm going to lay them all out as flat as possible and hope that they dry overnight. We can't glue the wet stone to the wall. So if these aren't dried by tomorrow, then we ain't working. Like most townhouses in Brooklyn, this one doesn't have a garage. So we had to put the stones all over the house. Just came out of nowhere, this storm. I got to get the brick in the lady's house. So, uh, you know, see, you can't glue that when it's wet. I don't believe I'm doing this. The rain's falling. It's supposed to fall intermittently tonight, and hopefully it's not going to be a big problem for us. The rain slowed us down yesterday at the end of the day. Thankfully, Dana allowed us to bring the ledge wall panels in so they could dry out overnight, which they have. And with the wall panels nice and dry, we can get to work. The material we're using to veneer the walls consists of natural stone, prefabricated interlocking six inch by 24 inch panels. We simply glue them to the walls. The key to it is putting enough, enough adhesive on it. It's a lot, a lot of adhesive. Lots. The adhesive we use for this is a very strong construction adhesive, and it'll stick to just about anything. 
With the backyard coming along, it's time to deal with my client's water feature. Gina's got a better eye for this sort of thing, so I asked her to pick one out. I'm looking for a small um, self-contained waterfall. A self-contained waterfall is great for a small place because it's easy to install and maintain. 